Welcome back to the Power of Public YouTube channel. Today we have phase three of the KZ build up project and we're going to be showing you how to install the bearings, axle and the rear assembly of the go-kart. So let's get to it. Okay so this is what we're going to be installing today. We've got the axle, axle bearings and bearing cassettes or the bearing housings, brake disc and hub, the exhaust mounting brackets, these are pretty important, you've got to get them in before you do these guys, otherwise you're going to have to pull them out again to get the nuts and bolts in. And then we've got our hardware, keyway, grub screws and the bolts and washers. And also too we have the chassis protectors. First up, we're going to install these little suckers. So why this is important to put in now is that these little countersunk cap screws have to fit inside the bearing hanger. Now if you've put the cassette in before, we, you wouldn't be able to get those screws in. So chuck them in there and do the hardware up. And then on to the other side. Next up, we've got to install the bearings and the cassettes. Uh, that's pretty simple to do. They slot straight into the chassis, put in the hardware, and lock it into position. So on a Tony car, you've got three ride height settings. Um, when you put the bearings low, the chassis is high, which generally frees the cart up off the corner. When the bearing is high and the chassis is low, generally gives a good acceleration grip, um, good braking grip, which is common in the KZ carts. But for me, I'm just going to chuck it in the middle set. Next up we're going to install the brake side bearing and bearing cassette. Now when we put it into the housing here, you'll notice that two things. One is the screw for tightening the housing is facing backwards so you can get your Allen key in there. And also too that the bearing is outboard on this side, whereas on the engine side the bearing faces inboard. Once again on this side we're going to put the bearing in the center slot, but make sure you don't have it up or down that will really make things bad. Uh, we're going to install the chassis protector on this side. Now you will have a washer like this, then the, the bracket and then another washer on the inside. So it is a little bit tricky to get them in but I'll show you a little shortcut here and you just go up to the third hole, chuck it in there. You run out of hands pretty easy, this will slip around a bit but then just pull the bearing up and just jiggle that in there like so. Okay, and then get your next little guy. And have to let that sit like that. And go up one more. That's got the center one in. Now to keep those in, in the spot, you can, do, you can just just lightly do those up. Then you can get your other bolts ready. Next up, install the rest of the hardware. Now you'll notice that these two bolts here have been left open. 
but what I will do is I'll install this one now before I do them all the rest up so I can get that washer in and that's we bolt the brake caliper through these two so we want to make sure that when we lock all this off we can still get a bolt in through that washer All right, so next up we're going to install the axle. Now this is pretty important to make the axles be inserted and extracted quite easily. We want to make sure those bearings are looking at each other, are in perfect alignment. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So grab your five millimeter T-bar and loosen that bolt off there. So we're going to slide the axle through this bearing and push the axle across to the other side of the go-kart. Now you can see here there's a little bit of misalignment. It's more to the back of the bearing than the front. So you want to just tap the axle around until it's basically the same distance or if you move the axle around like this and you want to make sure that you can just get the tip in then nip this screw back up and that bearing is roughly set for now and then we're going to go back to the other side and do the same in reverse I'm going to remove the axle go around to the other side Insert the axle, loosen that nut, so you can see that it just needs to go forward a little because it's coming, it's coming back here too far and it needs to come across. It's probably a bit hard to see in the video but yeah basically I'm trying to be able to push the axle lightly and it should be the same distance forward as it is backwards. If it's not so exaggerated you could bend it like that and then there's no alignment. So we just want to make that as small as we can all the way around and then when you put it into the bearing the axle should just be able to wipe it through nice and freely. Do this uh, screw up nice and tight and that will stop the bearing from rotating in the housing. Then you can undo, well undo, you can pull the axle out and then just double check it from the other side. If it's perfect, you're good to go. Okay, so insert the axle last time hopefully and check that it's still lined up perfect and it just slides in like so last up is the third bearing okay we need that in the kz for the extra rigidity in the rear so we're going to slide that in and show you how to set that up some guys use them some guys don't some guys reckon they're junk i personally use them i think they're great but everybody's different when you take them out the cart's a lot softer in the rear this particular car we want to have it pretty rigid so let's see how it goes so slide the axle back and put your bearing cassette into the housing and then run the axle through there into your bearing okay and then you've got your hardware so we're gonna now these holes are all slotted so this housing can float around a little bit but we want to get the ride height right for this one as well so bring the Four bolts in there. Okay. We'll just do them up. For the next operation. We're going to have to try to make sure that the axle still uh, slides perfectly but with the third bearing in place all done up nice and tight. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get it done. So nip these nuts up and it's going to pull the bearing a little bit in the housing. Just like so. And it's already a little bit stiff so now just tap the the bearing housing until and that makes the bearing rotate a little bit. If I tap it this way, it goes stiff. And if I tap it back the other way, you can see the axle starting to move. Just a couple more little taps, and it's and it's good. So when it's in that position, you can just nip up this little sky here, and then just check that it's still sliding. Okay, it's a bit stiff. So just give it a little tap. 
until it slides again. Okay. Now we're ready to install the brake disc. So next up we're going to install the brake disc now in the Tony car. It spins downhill here with the brake disc and the hub faces the brake side bearing cassette. So slide the axle back, put the brake disc on. Okay, it's going to spin that way with the vanes facing backwards. Just push that on there and just go over the top of your grub screws there where they've made a little mark. Line your keyway up. Insert your keyway onto your, for your disc. Slide that on. And then bring your axle across here. And that should just slide through there just like so. So lastly, you want to measure the axle to the bearing face, whether you use the chassis or the bearing, it doesn't matter as long as it's the same. I use the top of the cassette. This one's 200. I'll go to the other side and check it. Just the same place and make sure it's 200 millimeters. I'm going to install the grub screws. Make sure when you're putting your grub screws in that you use a bit of Loctite, otherwise they'll come loose when you use your go-kart. Okay, so line your grub screws up and just put a little dollop of Loctite on each one. Now they're ready to go in. Hold them with your finger so you don't drop them into the dirt, which is what normally happens when you're at the track. And just gently nip that one up and then do the same for this one, that one. And then you can lock them all off. Okay, thanks for watching another episode of the Power Public YouTube channel. If you've got any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Or if you'd like to get some merchandise, maybe a cap or a t-shirt, you can go to our website, www.powerrepublic.com.au. Otherwise, check us out on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic, and we'll see you in the next video.